So today I want to show you how to do an architectural control request for your property. Many properties called ACC and some properties called ARC. So depending on which one, you will see on your portal when you log in, whether it says ARC plans or ACC plans. And so right here on your dashboard, you're going to want to click on ACC plans. You're going to be able to see all of the previous applications that you did. You can actually click into it if you want to get more information. Scroll down and see all the information, including the documents that were attached. And then you can also add new. So this is where we're going to go to add a brand new ACC request. So you're going to want to put the title of your project. So let's just say for this case scenario, we are going to be doing a backyard patio. And so you have a little toggle down menu here with all sorts of different types of ACC requests. So for this one here, we're just going to say that we're doing uh, some hard surface flooring. And um, I recommend that you put in when you have submitted it. So say today is the 21st. So I recommend that you put what type of materials that you're using and color and also the dimensions. And if there's any other additional information, such as if you have a fence line that you have to be cognizant of. So in this case, we're going to be putting that we will be five feet away from the line. So as much information as you can include is best. In fact, I recommend that you take a little bit of time to create a file and to gather all sorts of information so that you have that to go ahead and put into your application so that you don't have any delays with you know, your manager or your ACC committee not understanding exactly what kind of project you're doing. So as much information as you can provide, the better. And so if you have a contractor name, I would put that in and phone number and email. If you have that information, sometimes it helps the manager or board member or ACC committee member, depending on the setup of your property, to be able to have a conversation with that contractor as well. And it's very important that you put your date. In some of your CCNRs, there's actually a date that you have to have your project completed by. So it's really important that you, first of all, give enough time for the application to be approved, which you're gonna to wanna to give up to a month, depending on your property. But you're also going to wanna to make sure that the end date is not open-ended. So for example, if you were approved for an April 3rd start date, then you wouldn't wanna start that in the next year. So depending on what your CCNR say, there may be specifics as to how long you have to complete your project. So for the purposes of this particular uh, tutorial, I'm going to say that the start date is going to be for three of this year and that we're going to have, say, six months to complete that. So let's just say we're going to be all done by July 31st. And so then you're going to go to next. And so you have your name, the ID of the ACC committee, you have the title of what it is that you're doing and um, what it is exactly you're doing and the description. So from here is where you're going to have to, the most important piece of documentation is going to be that completed ACC application that has all of your neighbor 
signatures. And they're not giving you permission, they are acknowledging your project. So depending on where your lot is located, generally speaking, you have to get the neighbor across the street, behind you and on each side. But again, it depends on your CCNRs and if you have any ACC standardizations in your particular community, and then also where your lot is located. So for example, if you only have one neighbor, then that's the neighbor that you would go to and get their acknowledgement. So you're gonna to wanna to add the document. And so um, you can put the name of your application. And there's a toggle down. This is very important because if you forget to do this, it will not accept. So you wanna do the toggle down and click on ACC application form. And then you're gonna go ahead and select and find that form. And you're going to save it. And from here, I would highly recommend that you also go ahead and attach, like if you have a picture of what this is going to look like, a sketch that has very specific dimensions, dimensions from the home, dimension from fence line, if there's any drainage concerns, if there's any colors that maybe you have a standardization in your community that you can only use gray cement patios, for example, or pavers. And so you wanna make sure that you attach all of those things. So you can add additional documents here and you don't have to, once you've already done that, that application, you don't have to toggle down to it again, but say you have a sketch, you want to go ahead and attach, say you have uh, photos, you can go ahead and save those items and attach. Once you are all ready to submit this to your manager, you would go ahead and submit application for review. And from there, the manager is going to review your application. If there's any questions or anything that you left out, they may ask you to uh, go ahead and provide additional information. From there, it goes to the ACC committee and to the board to review. And they have up to a month to go ahead and to look over that, to have discussions and to deliberate. Um, but you can also ask your manager if they may know what the time frame is. If there is an urgent matter that has to go through quickly, I would make sure that you put that in your application and have a discussion with your association management. And that is how you do an ACC application and submit it for review.